All right, everyone. Welcome back, all my uh, existing subscribers. And uh, I wanted to show you something here that uh, I've been doing in Windows 10 for a while now. I think I figured it out uh, uh, early on in the um, the Insider program uh, while they were developing enhancements for Windows 10. And I actually set it up for my mom because she was having trouble playing some of her music. And uh, I just think it's so awesome. I want to share it with everyone else. So um, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to get your groove back by making a Windows 10 CD toaster. And you'll see in a minute why I call it that. So the core of this is uh, that there's a pretty old program that's been built into Windows for a long time. It's called Windows Media Player. And it gives you the ability to uh, rip CDs that you own um, for your own personal use. So uh, what it does is it just copies the music from them into digital files that you can play anywhere. And you could always do this. Um, but what's really neat is there's a music player program called Groove, and it's available on a whole bunch of different devices. I'll show you a little bit more about that in a little bit too. And um, it's just super, super cool uh, because it lets you play this music. Uh, and then there's a third ingredient. Uh, there's OneDrive, which is a free online storage space. It's free up to a certain size limit. But anyway, this is going to work for just about everyone. Um, you know, just because it could, you know, affect someone's, you know, it might be a video a couple minutes long and I don't want to waste your time. Um, as of this recording on uh, August uh, 7th, 2016, uh, the Microsoft site lists uh, these countries as, you know, regions where it will work. Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Mexico, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, United Kingdom, and of course, the United States where I am. So if you have friends in any of those places, please tell them about this awesome, awesome trick. It is magical once you get it set up. So what we're going to do to set it up is first of all, you need to make sure that you have uh, a Microsoft account. So that'd be like a Hotmail account or a live.com account or uh, an outlook.com account will work. Um, you can even, a lot of times, if you have an existing account that you use a lot, like a Gmail account or something, you can turn that into a Microsoft account. I'm not going to cover that here. It's pretty easy to figure out and you can just get a free Microsoft account if you want to do this. Um, I would really recommend probably doing it with uh, a OneDrive account that you might already have and use all the time on all your devices. Uh, that's just going to make it easier. Uh, and depending on how much music you put in there, uh, I know Microsoft recently scaled back the size of uh, the OneDrive accounts. So, you know, if you have a lot of music you want to put on here, you might want to pay for a little bit extra space. Um, but I think it's a pretty cool thing and yeah, it'll definitely work without paying anything extra. I think you get five gigs of space by default. So that's a lot of music. And it also depends how much music you have depends on the quality setting we'll get to in a little bit. So after you get all that set up, get on your Windows 10 machine and uh, go and hit the Windows key and oops, wrong screen. So I'm just going to do it here because I've got a tool screen set up. And I'm sorry, I'm not using a screen recorder. Let's see, where am I? Oh, here we go, my Cortana button. There we go. So we're going to go and say, um, when media player. Okay, so here's the Windows Media Player. Uh, and I apologize, I don't have a screen recorder set up um, quite yet, but I hope it comes through. Uh, this is a pretty good camera and stuff, so... Uh, but I'll be talking you through it. And I'm also going to put up a uh, blog entry that I'll link to in the bottom of the video where you can see kind of a step-by-step. -step. I made little screenshots to show you where to click and stuff like that. So you click to open the Windows Media Player app and it pops open. And up here in the upper left, it says Organize. So you just click that and go to Options. And then you go to Rip Music because that's the functionality that we're going to be using. So 
This is just where uh, you, you should already have uh, OneDrive set up to synchronize to whatever P PC you're going to be ripping from. And you can do this from a whole bunch of different PCs. You could do it at work, you could do it at home, you could do it at a friend's house, whatever. You know, anywhere you have an account where you've got your OneDrive synchronized, this will work. And you know, the more places, the better, because uh, it, it's just going to be super convenient for you to just add music to, to everything. So um, here I've set it up already to uh, add it to my OneDrive. And the key is in your OneDrive, in the root OneDrive folder, you need to make a folder called music. And uh, I think the Groove app actually has a suggestion. Um, oh yeah, it's actually the Groove website. So I'll bring that up. And here I've, I've logged in, it's uh, music.microsoft.com. Um, you can also search for Microsoft Groove and you'll need to sign in with your Microsoft account to see this. But um, when you go to the collection button in the upper left, then uh, it gives you a little, it talks about cloud and it says play your music wherever you go. And it says get started. If you do that, it'll kind of walk you through this whole process. But I thought a little video would help. Uh, they don't really talk about the toaster aspect, which I think is really key to this as well. So um, anyway, back here into our Windows Media Player settings, we're on the rip music tab. You want to go and you'll just hit change and you'll browse to the location of uh, the music folder in your OneDrive. Down here in the format, this is where you'll set the format. I like to use Windows Media Audio variable bitrate. That kind of lets uh, Windows Media Audio decide um, what bitrate is needed. So for example, if you have a lot of long pauses or if the music isn't very complex, it'll shift down to a lower bitrate. But if it gets really complicated, then it shifts to a higher bitrate. It gives you, I think, a little bit better quality. There are some other options. Um, a lot of my stuff is uh, encoded in just regular Windows Media Audio. That saves space. Uh, if you're an audiophile, you can go with Windows Media Audio Lossless. It's uh, still got compression, but you're not going to lose any of the fidelity. And then you can do a couple of other lossless formats, uh, FLAC and ALAC and MP3 is not lossless, but it's very common. And then you can even down here set the quality. Um, so small size or best quality, and it tells you how you know what kind of file size to expect per album. Um, two key things here though is you want to set rip CD automatically and you want to set eject CD after ripping. Those are really important. So uh, you know just this is for the toaster functionality. It's you know if there are there are other things that you can do, it doesn't really matter. So when you're done, you hit OK. And the setup for Windows Media Player is pretty much done at that point. Um, so I've already set up the music folder in my OneDrive. Um, I've set up the Windows Media Player. So I'm really ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, I've got this CD. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up. It's uh, the Goo Goo Dolls Dizzy Up the Girl. And uh, I've got the CD here. So sorry, I've, uh, I'm zoomed in on the screen so you can't see it, but I'm opening up the um, the disk drive or the CD drive on my laptop, and I'm just going to drop this disk in. I'm not going to push any buttons or anything. Um, I just put okay. The disk is in, and I'm closing the door. And here are my hands. I'm not clicking anything. And after a second or so, it should just pop up, and it'll it'll wake up, and it'll say, "Hey, I've got a CD in there," and it'll just start ripping it. So I hear the drive, you know, moving around. Oh, and there we go. So here it says unknown album and then boom, it detects it. It pulls down the album art. It pulls down a star rating by default uh, that you can change. And here we can see it's already ripping. So this music that it's ripping is going straight into my OneDrive account. Uh, so, um, well, okay, it's not really going straight to it. It's going straight onto my hard drive here and then it's getting synchronized in the background. And that's something to keep in mind is that, you know, this is a kind of loosely coupled system. It's, you're not copying it straight to the device that you're going to play it on. Um, what you're doing is you're copying it to your local device and then your local device is going to send it up to OneDrive when it gets around to it. Um, it depends a little bit on what your broadband is like. If you're doing a bunch of other things, if you're uploading a bunch of videos to YouTube or something, 
or if you're doing torrents or who knows what you're doing with your upstream bandwidth, but uh, there are all kinds of factors that could come into play into how, uh, how fast it goes up. So right before, I mean, this, you just pretty much sit and watch. And the neat thing is because it's like a toaster, you don't even have to watch. You can just have this in the background. Um, you can be doing other stuff. It's just ripping the music away in the background. And then when it's done, you know, because thanks to checking that checkbox, it just ejects and pops out the CD when you're done. So right before I recorded this old uh, Cranberry CD, see there's my there's my CD from it, and um, it finished and it just popped right out. And uh, let me see here. So I can show you here. There's a, a Groove app for Windows and. Let's see, I've got an on OneDrive, and there we go. Here's the Cranberries album. So it took maybe five to 10 minutes after it finished ripping to really appear in that list. Um, I also was showing you there's a, uh, there's a Groove website. So this is handy if, you, if you're at a friend's house or whatever. I mean, all this music that you rip, it's available anywhere you have a web browser, really. Uh, and uh, I, they may have a player requirement or something like that. But, you know, that kind of thing changes all the time. So, you know, they'll probably switch to an HTML5 player if they haven't already. And so you, you can play this anywhere. There's also, there's an iOS app. There's an Android app. Uh, the really cool thing, uh, let me go to the store and I'll show you the Groove Music app. Down here, it says available on Xbox One, PC, mobile, and holographic. So by putting this music here, um, I can go and play these songs without any kind of account. I, I, well, you need a Microsoft account, but without any kind of subscription to Groove, I can play these on all these devices. I can play it on my Xbox One, my PCs, anywhere um, that I have this app and sign in. I can play it on my Windows 10 mobile device. I can play it on a HoloLens. So that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, so that's what the Universal Windows Platform app, uh, the Groove Music app does. But if you don't have any of that, this right here is just the website. And I'm just gonna hit refresh here and it's going to probably take me back to, you know, there, you can apply filters so that you can see what selections of music you have. So I'm going to go down here. It's set to all music and I'm just going to go to OneDrive only. And yeah, I could already, you know, I'm not even done ripping here. See, it's still ripping uh, track six, but I've already got the album showing up here. And then here's the Cranberries album that I was just ripping. So this just shows up like instantly, like there's no work. I mean, I, this is happening while I'm recording this. So I showed it to my mom and uh, you know, she's been using computers my whole life in her, uh, you know, for her job. But there are some of these things that are, you know, kind of fancy and, you know, she thinks of using them maybe for work related purposes, but not necessarily for using music. And I mean, she knows it's possible. She just doesn't see herself as being able to do it. This is just so easy. I mean, like I said, it's like operating a toaster. So, um, yeah, I mean, set it up everywhere. I mean, even if you don't like Groove, I mean, just you, if you have a OneDrive account and it's not packed full, just throw some music on there. Try out the Groove Music app. They have uh, gapless playback now. So as it transitions from song to song, you don't hear like it doesn't stop and start again. So anyway, I had a couple of notes. Uh, oh, I want, you know, I did want to, show you this is on the if you just go to uh, microsoft.com slash groove slash onedrive it has this nice little diagram here and it just says uh, open your onedrive music folder from the web or via the onedrive app and in this case we're using the the uh, windows media player to just rip stuff straight into this folder then it says upload your favorite mp3s from your hard drive to the onedrive music folder which you know once again we're doing this automatically with our little toaster that we've made, um, our CD toaster. But you can, if you already have a bunch of MP3s or audio files in the formats that, you know, that are supported by this, I mean, you have to dig in a little bit. I think it's down here in the frequently asked questions below on, on this page. But um, yeah, just as long as they're in a supported format, you can drag them over and you can even go to OneDrive in the web browser from any device you have and upload the files there. So, I mean, this is something that if you have five minutes, you know, just go and sign in and then upload all the files you want and then just walk away, like go to lunch or do something else. And it'll just happen in the background. 
And then step three is to sign into the Groove Music app on your PC, Windows Phone, Xbox, or the web with the same Microsoft account you used in OneDrive. So, I mean, obviously, they all have to be on the same account because, you know, the, the nice thing is there are no settings, so there's nothing to get confused about, but you do have to use the same account because you're only going to be able to see um, in Groove, you're only going to be, see, be able to see the music in the associated OneDrive account. And it just says your OneDrive music files will now be listed as songs in your collection, free to play wherever you go. It's your music. They just provide this awesome infrastructure uh, at no cost. You know, it says free here. Um, I'm a firm believer there's no such thing as a free lunch, but you know, if you're already using uh, Windows enough to, to rip stuff, uh, then, I mean, you're already, you've already got it. So why not get the most you possibly can out of it? So here I'll just go and I'll um, uh, just select this album and, you know, here it's got all the info and uh, let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, there's track one, track two. Let's see, what's a, what are some of the albums? Yeah, I remember uh, Black Balloon. So I'll just hit play. And um, that's another thing is, you know, it, it streams. Um, I think there may be with the client, there's a way to download it, but you know, it, so like if you use the Groove app, I think there's a way to say, download all my music um, to your device, like to your mobile phone or your tablet or whatever. But this is just gonna be a streaming demo, so it'll take a second. So I'm just gonna hit play and, oh, it says it's no longer available. Well, that's weird. Let's try it again. It could be because because it's ripping it. I think I tried, oh, so, okay. So now it just popped out the CD. So maybe there's some little file system funkiness. Um, I ripped this one earlier and I was playing a song for a minute. So, oh, actually, yeah, I just hit play from the root. So, but yeah, hit play. And there. So I'm not sure if you can hear, I'll turn it up. So I don't want to get in too much trouble with, um, you know, that's just a demo to show you that what I've been telling you works. Um, but anyway, super awesome. Um, so anyway, I want I had just a couple notes really quick, um, just to kind of recap what we've said. Uh, you can set this up on any PC with OneDrive and Windows Media Player. So you can rip music at home, at work, or on the go. So the machine you set it up on doesn't even have to support Groove. I mean, I said Windows 10, but as long as you have OneDrive support and Windows Media Player support to rip this stuff, that's all you need to, to do the ripping. So it's really flexible. Um, you're going to need Groove at least via the web browser to play it back. So really this works in going way, way back. So anything that support, I think OneDrive is going to be the limiting factor. So anything that supports OneDrive synchronization you'll be able to get that toaster effect. And as I said, any device that has a browser, you should be able to upload MP3 files here. Um, you can copy music files you've already ripped into the OneDrive. So like if you downloaded them from iTunes or something, you could just copy those over. Um, so uh, let's see. Oh, and I said, you know, just keep in mind, once the song is ripped, it has to be uploaded to OneDrive and that takes a little bit of time. And then if you want to play it, it's going to stream it down and that takes a couple seconds. So, you know, a lot of times I see when people are doing this, um, uh, you know, stuff involving cloud synchronization, uh, they kind of have this expectation that it's instant. And if you're on like a really fast connection at maybe work or school, then that's going to be quicker but if you're on a residential connection and you might have slower upload speeds or something it might take a couple minutes or a little while for this stuff to show up and i'm not exactly sure what the refresh rate is on groove like when it starts how often it checks so um just you know give it some time and as long as you don't have high expectations of like sticking the cd in and instantly playing it from every device you have um it should be a pretty impressive thing and just the sheer fact that you should be able to play any of these songs that you rip on pretty much any device you have uh, that it, you know, it either has the, the Groove app or a web browser that can play music through the Groove app there. Um, and like I said, uh, 
anyone in the regions I mentioned can do this for free, no subscription required. And once again, I'm gonna list off the countries where this is supposed to work today. Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Mexico, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, United Kingdom, and the United States. So that's one of my favorite things uh, that you can do with Windows right now. And I think Groove is a really nice player. I've been using it lately. They just added a whole bunch of updates. Uh, like I said, it supports HoloLens now. So if I mean, it's, they're trying to future proof this. This is just so cool. And you know, worst case scenario, you can even go into um, OneDrive and you can just go into the music folder and you can actually play songs one by one from there. But the Groove experience is just uh, really, really nice. And uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go and see if, uh, if I can play this song, this track that I ripped. Or, yeah, so this is one that I ripped right before the recording and it's playing straight from uh, straight from OneDrive. So, so anyway, I just think that's super awesome. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Please uh, like and subscribe this video. And above all, share this with anyone that you want to have, you know, an awesome thing. I, there are just so many people I know that are listening to music on these uh, ad supported services. And chances are you've just got a ton of music from some source that you already paid for and it's already to your liking. Uh, Groove, now I don't know if, I, I would imagine this works with your Groove, but man, your Groove is this new thing that's really cool. And they just have um, all these dynamically generated playlists, like your all time top plays. It's like a top 40 of your favorite songs. Um, yeah, here's one called Focus While You Work. And you know, you can even rate these. So you're gonna be like, oh, that was a really well curated playlist. I'm gonna thumbs that up. So this right here is brand new. They just released this with the anniversary update. Um, there was one, it was like um, Forgotten Favorites or something where uh, it was songs that I used to listen to a lot, but I haven't listened to in a while. And so I was playing that and uh, my daughter who's four, she was just flipping out. She's like, I love this song and you know nowadays we're just inundated with so much new music sometimes uh, you forget to go and back and listen to old favorites so it's nice to have groove uh groove has my back so anyway uh that is my little presentation on how to get your groove back with by making a windows 10 cd toaster and uh i hope you like my description of it because it really is that simple you put the cd in you close the tray, you wait for it to pop out, and then you just put the next one in. And that's it. So uh, I hope you liked it. Please remember once again to uh, just take a second right now, just go down and into the whatever, how, whatever interface you're using to play this. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna try to bring some other interesting, I, I call them low hanging fruit. They're just things that are so easy to do. They have a huge impact. They're just great things please try them out. And um, most importantly, just tell your friends, I'm going to have some links. Um, you know, most importantly, I'm going to have a link to the blog post where I've got this documented with some screenshots, uh, just in case the video quality wasn't to your liking uh, or my description wasn't all that great. And of course I'll be following in the comments and please, just comment and tell me if you did it. You know, that's one of the hardest things I'm trying to, um, I'm doing a thing called uh, VEDA, vlogging every day in August. And you know, this is one of my more involved pieces and I would just like to know uh, whether or not people are using it. That's, that's the only payment I really request. I mean, I, I, I monetize my ads on YouTube, but it, it doesn't really uh, <laughs> come anywhere near close to, uh, to paying for the amount of time and effort I put into, you know, some of these videos. So uh, yeah just be sure to share it with other people that just pay it forward. That's all I ask. And if you see someone else who, uh, who did a similar video, please put that in the comments as well. I'd love to, to watch it and cross reference stuff like that. So anyway, uh, that's it for me. And, uh, I'm Mark Noble. You can follow me on Twitter, uh, at Mark Noble. There are some links. Uh, I'm, I'm also, I've got like two chat rooms running ones in Skype and ones in telegram messenger. So, I don't really, you know, I'll, I'll get to the, uh, 
to the YouTube comments and stuff like that, but I don't really like uh, that interface for conversations. I just like a live chat scenario better. So anyway, um, that's why I have those in there. So anyway, that's it. Uh, add your music to OneDrive. You can make your uh, Windows 10 CD toaster or your Windows CD toaster. And uh, that's it for me for now. And uh, that's it. So have fun and enjoy your music.